Hello chess lovers, previously I have already showed you a game played by Yuri Gusev against Boris Spassky where Gusev is sacrificing both rooks and a knight and loses the game. But here is another game where Yuri Gusev is sacrificing his pieces one after another and manages to crush his opponent in the most beautiful way. His opponent is Yevgeny Averbach and the game was played in 1946 in Chelyabinsk. Let's see how the game went on. Gusev started with e4 and c5 by Averbach Sicilian defense. Knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4. Knight f6, knight c3, g6, black goes for dragon variation and Gusev chooses the classical variation bishop e2, knight c6, knight b3, bishop g7, white castles, bishop e6 and f4, white is starting an immediate attack, rook c8 and f5, bishop d7 and here comes the other pawn, g4, white is starting an immediate pawn storm on the king side, knight d5, g5, Knight g8 and the knight jumps to d5 square. Black played f6 which is weakening the king side too much. A better move was counter attacking with the h pawn. If g takes h6 then bishop takes h6. Later black can also use this opened h file. But instead after knight d5 we see f6, bishop e3, b6, knight d4, another dubious decision by black, king f7, c3, white is still strengthening his position for the final blow, queen e8 and now the knight jumps to e6 square. And now if you have a look at black's position it's very difficult to find a good move. It's like black is in Tsuk Tsvang, black captured on e6, f takes e6 check and king f8. Capturing on e6 can be very dangerous, white can play queen b3 threatening for example knight f6 discovered check. If king d7 then queen a4 check, if king d8 then bishop b5. Now if queen f8 then queen takes a7 can be very unpleasant. Or after bishop b5, if knight c6 then knight b4 winning a piece. Let's go back. After f takes e6 check we see king f8 and now comes a very beautiful move by Yuri Gusev. Can you find his next move? Ready? He played knight takes f6, black captured on f6 with a knight, g takes f6 and bishop takes f6. Of course capturing on f6 with a pawn can be very dangerous, this pawn is weakening and white can capture on d6. If queen e7 then queen takes e5 using the fact that the pawn is pinned. Let's go back, after g takes f6 we see bishop takes f6, bishop h6 check, king g8, and here comes this destructive, rook takes f6, e takes f6, queen takes d6, rook c6, looks like black is managing to win this pawn on e6 and black will solve all the problems, but now comes an amazing move, you can pause the video and try to find white's next move. By the way, if you insert this puzzle in chess softwares, even chess engines are not managing to find Gusev's next move. For example, Houdini is offering a move like queen a3. But instead, after rook c6, Gusev played queen takes e5. Look at this amazing queen sacrifice. We see f takes e6 and rook f1. If you have a look at the position, white has only two bishops against a queen and a rook, but it turns out that this is enough to win the game. The, the eighth rank is weakened too much. Now the threat is bishop b5. Black played rook c8 and bishop d1, bringing the bishop to this dangerous diagonal. Rook c4, black decided to give up his rook. Well, if a move like queen e7 blocking the pawn then bishop b3, if rook e8 then rook f7 can be very unpleasant. If queen c5 check then king g2, queen d6 for example, then here comes rook g7 check, king f8, e7 check, rook takes e7 and we see this fantastic check made on the board. Let's go back. After bishop d1 we see rook c4, bishop b3, b5. Bishop takes c4, b takes c4, b3, 
a5 and b takes c4. Black is in Suk Tsavang. Black queen can't leave the eighth rank or this a3 f8 diagonal. And now white will simply promote his pawns. Queen e7, king g2 preventing any possible checks. Queen a3, rook f2. Queen e7, rook f1. Probably only after playing rook f2. Gusev saw that he had another beautiful way to win the game. Actually, instead of playing rook f2, rook f7 is stronger. If queen takes a2 check, then king g3. If queen a3, then rook a7. And if queen takes c3 check, then king g4 and it's over. Black king is getting checkmated. Let's go back. After rook f2, we see queen e7. Rook f1, again provoking queen a3. Black played g5. Rook f5. G4. And c5. Queen e8. C6. Queen e7. C7. And black resigned. Well, if a move like queen e8, then rook g5 check. Followed by c8 rook. And we see this amazing check made on the board. What an amazing game played by Yuri Gusev. Your comments and questions, please. What do you think about this fantastic game? Good luck.